we are going to work on simultaneous equation. And like I told you, we have simultaneous equation with different questions. There are simultaneous equation with question on whole number. Simultaneous equation with question on decimal number. Simultaneous equation with questions on what? Fraction. Now let's look at this type of simultaneous equation. It looks strange, but very simple. What you need to do is to replace the variable x and y with 1 over x. You are replacing x with 1 all over x and y with 1 all over y. So that means you are going to replace this with that. So we have 2 for the equation 1. We have 2 into 1 over x minus 1 into 1 over y equals to 3. Still the same thing as equation 1. For equation 2, 4 into 1 over x plus 3 into 1 over y equals to 16. Still equation 1 and 2. What do you do with 1 all over x and 1 all over y? Because we have said, instead of you to use the unknown x, you are using 1 all over x. Instead of you to use unknown y, you are using 1 all over y. So, you are going to put 1 all over x as a and 1 all over y as b. You can replace it with any other letter, but as far as this class is concerned, we want to use a and b. So anywhere you see 1 over x, you are replacing it with a. Anywhere you see 1 over y, you are replacing it with b. So let's plot that into equation 1 and 2. That's what? 2a minus 1b equals to 3. 4a plus 3b equals to 16. This is another thing entirely. You can call this equation 3 and call this equation 4. So we are going to resolve this simultaneously. To resolve this simultaneously, you follow the rules of simultaneous equation on elimination method. We want to make use of elimination method. So to eliminate this, the rule says you look for where the coefficients are the same. If you look at this, on variable A, Coefficients are not the same. On B, they are not the same. Then, the rule says, if they are not the same, you make it the same. So where can we make this the same? We want to eliminate on B, and we have 1 and 3. Don't forget the rule says, change the 1 and 3. Or if you are eliminating here, change 2 and 4 to 4, 2. 2, 4, to 4, 2. You just interchange. So, but we want to eliminate here. Let's interchange. This will be 3 and this will be 1. You use 3 to multiply all equation 3, 1 to multiply all equation 4. 3 multiplied by 2a. We have 6a minus 3b equals to 9. 4a plus 3b equals to 16. As we have it now, we can now see that the coefficient of b are now the same. We can eliminate on b now. Alright? Then remember, the rule says, if the sign before the coefficient are the same, you find the difference. If the coefficient, the sign before the coefficient are different, you have. So, we are going to add the two equations now. 4a plus 6a, 10a. Minus 3b plus 3b plus 0. 9 plus 16. That will give us 25. We now have 10a equals to 25. To get your a, you divide both sides by 10. 25 divided by 10. 10, what can go in 10? 5 in 10, 2. 5 
in 25, 5. Then A is equal to 5 over 2. A equals to 5 over 2. So we are going to substitute A equals to 5 over 2 into equation 3. And the equation 3 says 2A minus 1B equals to 3. So anywhere we see what now? What are I putting there? Anywhere we see A, we are replacing it with 5 over 2. That is 2 into 5 over 2 minus 1B equals to 3. Then 2 will cancel this. We have 5 minus 1B equals to 3. Minus 1B equals to 3. 5 cross the quality side becomes negative. We have minus 1B equals to 5 minus this. That gives us minus 2. Then the minus will cancel minus. B will be equal to what? 2. Therefore, A is equal to 5 over 2. And B equals to 2. Recall, remember that what? That your what? A equals to 5 over 2 and B equals to 2. Recall that, come and look at it here. At this point, we said put 1 over X equals to A and 1 over Y equals to B. So recall that A equals to 1 over x and b equals to 1 over y and we have got our a as 5 over 2 equals to 1 over x and our b which is equal to 2 is now equal to 1 over y cross multiply we have 5x equals to 2 then at this point x is equal to 2 over what? Over 5. The Bible side by 5. And cross multiply here. 2y equals to 1. Then y is equal to what? 1 over 2. Therefore, our original variable x is equal to 2 over 5. And our original variable y is equal to 1 over 2. Thank you and God bless you all.